Classes resumed at Zephyr Hills High School this morning for the first time since a student was killed in a stabbing on Friday. 16-year-old Tavarian Sermons was hanging out with friends in Wesley Chapel when it all happened. Our Eric Waxler joined us now live from Zephyr Hills where Sermons' death has left a lot of people grieving right now. Good afternoon, Eric. Yeah, Dia, at the school right now, classes are going on. According to the school district, Sermons has dozens of relatives in this area, and many of them attend the school. For them and others here at the high school, grief, grief counselors are here to help. He was just 16, active in sports, and according to his family, someone who never went looking for trouble. But today at Zephyr Hills High School, experts are helping Tavarian Sermons classmates deal with his death. Molly Blair coordinates Pasco County's grief counseling program. We listen to what their concerns are, what they might have heard. Sometimes there are rumors or myths that need to be dispelled. And then we kind of just take them where they are and address any, you know, any feelings or any follow-up that needs to occur. Plans are in the works to help raise money for funeral expenses. Meanwhile, Sermon's mother was too upset to talk to us over the weekend. His aunt still can't believe this happened. It's terrible. Um, I never thought in a million years he was at my house the night before. I had just talked to him on the phone that morning. I never thought in a million years that he would be here today and gone tomorrow. The Pasco Sheriff's Office says an argument in the Meadow Point neighborhood of Wesley Chapel between a group of teens escalated to violence when 18-year-old Cleve Gittins showed up with a knife at the clubhouse and stabbed Sermons to death. His friends spent the weekend coping with each other and through social media, but counselors are still seeing a range of emotions today. A lot of sadness. I'm a lot of students just needing some place to be safe with their emotions and, you know, either talk privately or just have a break from the regular setting. The alleged killer has been in jail since Friday. I checked with the Pasco Sheriff's Office. They say nothing new that they're going to release today on this investigation, including what started this whole thing that led to Sermon's death. Live in Zephyr Hills, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.